Okay, this is video number two already, just because they're kind of calmer now. They're so cute. And they're so sweet. Look at that. And they're so little. Oh, it's so what a, I'm like so grateful to have this little experience. This is the third litter of the same mom and dad. There's a story behind that. We cannot seem to get the mama cat, the, the human owner of the mama cat to allow that female to be fixed. This is the third litter dropped off at the farm in the last like seven months. They all have the same mom and the same dad. So there's always a black one or two. There's always some tabbies. And then there's always one or two Siamese in each litter. And literally, the farm has more cats than has ever been there. And trust me, the cats eat better than the humans. They get like $19 a pound salmon. They can't afford to feed these cats. And these guys, we didn't even know they could have wet food until this morning. Um, so they needed extra care with a syringe. And they were lapping up the milk a little bit last night. Look at them. They're going to fall asleep. This is what they do. They like play like crazy. And then the next second, they just pass out. Oh. It's unbelievable. They're so cute. And the temptation is minimal right now to keep them simply because my little peanut is not happy and she means the world to me now that it's just her and I. So since Mr. Shadowcat left us, but so of course I've seen the other litters, I've seen the kittens at this age, but I've definitely never handled them or cared for them or even got to observe or see what it was like. And I don't know, it's, it's awesome. It's another new experience. And how do you not look at that? Oh, they're so damn cute. And it's just such a powerful, you know me, I'm always looking for like the purity of things and the innocence of things. And you know, the pure life and love that these little guys are completely trusting, you know, and I couldn't leave them there last night. Um, the farm family has got a lot, always has a lot going on and the farm suffered damage from Ian. So it's kind of a nut house there in particular. I mean, even more so than normal there right now. And uh, I don't know that all four of these guys would have lived. So thankfully the other employees probably gonna keep those two kitties. And so they'll get a great home. Um, these guys, oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna make sure they stay together. It might mean fostering them for more than just a few days, but I made an announcement on Facebook. I guess this will be my announcement on YouTube and um, also on Nextdoor. And I've got a few more calls. I call into the Cat Depot. So we're gonna do our best to make sure they find a loving home and don't get bounced around. Um, and in the meantime, boy, what a great experience. Look at this. They're so freaking cute. And um, I, I do one day want to have a pet from the time that they're a baby all the way until their death. I think that would be a very special experience. Um, but for now, I'm just learning what a little kitty is like in their first few weeks and doing my best to give them as much love to get them a good start. And that is not hard for me to do. I definitely don't have any shortage of love to give, especially to innocent, cute, adorable little four-leggeds. So, gray tabby one, gray tabby two, we check out. I'm gonna go put these guys into the bathroom and let them sleep some more. And, uh, oh my God, they're just so cute. They're so little. I wish I could get on camera how little their little legs are and, oh, Anyway, thanks for letting me share. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you out there have probably had the experience of baby pets, but this is my first time with any extended period of time. And uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to enjoy it because they're full of love. All right. Have good days. Bye.